Hello there. This walkthrough is for a Python script, which I wrote for DaVinci Resolve, uh, which will send off an alert message to you once your render is complete. Uh, it'll either send off an email to the email address that you provide, or it can send off a text, 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 sorry about that, a text message to whatever address that you provide for that. Um, once you download the script, you're going to have to do a little bit of editing, which we got right here on the configure page. You're going to have to edit the uh, library path, the email address, and a beep if you want it to beep or not. If we pop over to the code right here, the library path, these paths, as you see, are written within the code itself. Uh, right now, this has only been tested out on Windows. Uh, these addresses right here were taken from DaVinci Resolve's README files, so I'm going to assume that the Mac path and the Linux path is correct, uh, but I can't guarantee anything on that. Uh, so what you have to do is select whatever path you want, whether it's the Mac path, the Window path, or the Linux path. We're going to just do a copy, and then you have to put that right there. So right now it's set up for the Linux path. Change that back to the Windows path. Uh, if you are on a Windows machine, you can make the machine beep once the render is finished by changing this false value right here to true. Uh, as far as Mac goes and Linux goes, uh, I don't have a Mac, so I couldn't test it on that. And I'm a little bit lazy at testing it on the Linux. Uh, and I also don't have a DaVinci version for Linux. But that's beside the point. Uh, but if you do, if you can code yourself within Python for Mac or Linux or code in Python, if you can code Python and you wanted to write something for the Mac or the Linux, uh, this variable right here is picked up all the way at the bottom. Scrolling down, 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 right down here, and right here I just do the imports and everything just for Windows, not to clutter it up on other operating systems. So you could write your own code down there if you wanted to. Uh, and the other thing that you'll have to change is all your e all your email information. This one right here where it says your Gmail, that's going to be your normal Gmail account that you use. Then you will supply your password. Uh, in the past, I was just using a normal email password that you would just log into. Uh, recently, there was a change, or I made a change on my end. I'm not positive about that. But it is possible that you might have to use a, a Gmail app password. I uh, leave a link for a Google search on that. It's pretty simple to do and set it all set it up. It ain't no big deal. Uh, the other couple things that you would have to edit is your sending to address. So you would just put that in there. Or if you were to send to a phone, uh, this is for a Verizon, so it would be whatever phone number at what is that? VZWPIX.com. Uh, and you could have multiple ones in here. You would just have to make your next one be separated by a comma. And then new. Whatever you want after that. And then as far as the subject goes, as you noticed in the example right here. Oh, I don't have it on here. Uh, the header of the email text. I'm going to have to edit this. Uh, the header of the email text is going to show DaVinci Resolve Render, semicolon, space, and then it's going to give your project name on that. Um, I'm going to have to update the documentation on the website just to show that. Uh, but as far as you go, that's it. That's all the edits that you have to do. Uh, the script can be run in two different ways. One is a standalone, so if you're just saving on your desktop, uh, you can launch it from there and render from there, which I'll show you in a couple of minutes. Uh, or the other thing is you'd have to save the file in this path right here. Well, this is the Windows path right here. Uh, program data, Blackmagic, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion Scripts, Delivery. So if you save it right there, you'll be able to launch the script right from within DaVinci Resolve. So we can go to there right now. We'll go down to the DaVinci Resolve. Right now, we're already on the delivery page. Uh, either way, whether you're launching it as its own application from the desk from your desktop or some folder system that you have, or if you're doing it right within DaVinci Resolve, you have to get everything all set up in, in Resolve. Work your way all the way down to your delivery page. Get your timelines all hooked up over here, as you can see uh, from the test example that we have posted on the site. Uh, one timeline is second timeline. That's the name of it. Uh, and the other one is timeline one. Uh, if you notice the times on there, the first one took 4 seconds, the other one took 11 seconds. Uh, 
So if you wanted to run the script right from here, you would go to your workspace. And this is on DaVinci Resolve 18, as you notice down here at the public release. Uh, I don't see why, no, why this would not work on older versions of uh, DaVinci Resolve. I just don't have any installed. And I came up with this idea after 18 was already up and running. So I haven't gone back and double checked anything with the older versions. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't work, but that's something that you're going to have to try out yourself. Uh, but within this, you would go up to Workspace, come down. You can actually look at the console if you want, which that's from some earlier testing. You don't have to. Uh, but you go to Workspace, Scripts, and there we are. Render Alert. Oh, I guess I don't got it spelled correctly, but that's the one that you got to go to. Once you click it, you'll notice DaVinci is going on its way. It's doing its renders. It rendered the first one. That's done. Now it's working on the second one. Uh, I do have the beep set up, so you'll hear, you should hear a beep in the background. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't. I'll have to re edit that. Sorry about that. I uh, paused the recording here to see what went on with that. Uh, it did actually beep, but the reason why we didn't hear it is because I had the volume on the speakers turned down, not to get any feedback. Uh, when I launched this, when we launched the script uh, off of the desktop, I'll turn the volume up so we can actually hear it. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention earlier is you noticed over here as I already have these two jobs rendered out, and if we were to do it again, we would get a message, message saying it was already rendered, and it gives you the option uh, with this script. That option doesn't happen. So uh, the other thing with that is right now, if we were to just have this first job one highlighted here and we go to render it, it would just render out the first job. You would have to select, do a shift select for both of them. Control, so not shift, uh, control select both of them in order to render both. You don't have to do that with the script. Whatever is over here in your queue, it's going to render everything in there, whether you have it selected or not. So we'll go over to the desktop. Well, we're going to pretend this is on the desktop right here, the script. Uh, notice the state right now of DaVinci Resolve. It's just sitting here. If we go down, where did the cursor go? If we go down and we'll double click this, and if actually, if I don't get over there in time, you notice the state of uh, DaVinci right down here in the bottom. But we'll double click it. And now it's automatically going through and doing its thing. Uh, I'll turn the volume up a little bit here. Hopefully that sound came. Hopefully that sound came through. Sorry about the echo there. Uh, pretty sure that's about it. Everything's pretty much cut and dry, short and simple. Uh, there will be a link in the description to the uh, GitHub page, so you can download the script. And hope you found this useful. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.